taking you guys on my recovery run. Literally across the street from my house, there's like a two mile, you can tell like dirt path. It's around this country club. And uh, I'm gonna get some easy miles in. Uh, nothing too scenic. So I think I'll do like a little like Q and A for you guys. Keep it real here. So I've been running competitively since uh, really junior year of high school. Did not make the soccer team. <laughs> and uh, yeah, switched over to track, cross country, and very addictive personality. <laughs> so quickly started running a lot. Then get to college and I ended up at Illinois Wesleyan University. So small D3 school in central Illinois. And uh, yeah, had the chance to run there and decided why not. Awesome decision. Unfortunately, I was either injured or burnt out or studying abroad in France <laughs> for the majority of my time at Illinois Wesleyan. So all my PRs were set, what, like freshman year, really. Anyways, that was college. Kind of ended running on a not great note. So then post-college, I decided I was gonna get jacked and huge and buff and pretty much stopped running for a year straight up just got fat um <laughs> and also realized i kind of miss you know more than just being fit uh <laughs> i missed just the mental reprieve of like getting a run in and uh so started running again a year or two after college i was actually living in the caribbean french island of martinique and i really started running again with nothing else to do i'd run for like two or three or four hours a day uh, anyways that's how i like first got into ultras so i've raced 250ks then i got a job with hoka and i don't know whether it was the you know dope shoes <laughs> plug um or whether it was the lifestyle or whatever but i uh started you know running pretty fast for me beating beating you know college prs um and the faster i was running the better i was feeling and yeah now that kind of brings us to today um, here I am just doing an easy double out in Santa Monica, new home, California. And uh, yeah, so living here where it's sunny, granted there is a lot of traffic, but sunny and perfect <laughs> running conditions every day. I uh, bit the bullet and, you know, kind of like got myself a running coach and I'm like taking running seriously now. To be totally honest, my goals this year are I'm gonna break 16 minutes in the 5K. PR right now is 16.34. So I've got more than half a minute to shave off there. And then I also, like my favorite event in high school and college was always the mile. And I really want to and like not getting easier as I get older. I want to run sub 430 for the mile. PR is 436 for my fresh, freshman year of college. And I don't know, I think I can do it. I mean, there's only one way to know. I'm gonna try. So this year, um, I'm definitely picking up my mileage. High school, I probably ran like 30 miles a week. In college, we ran by minutes, but I was probably like 50-ish miles a week. Right now I'm hitting 70 to 80 miles a week. Currently running right now. 
in the Bondi 5, Hoka's Max Cushion Shoe. Bondi's nice for like those easy runs where you just want as much cushion as possible to doc kind of document the sub 16 minute 5k. It's happening this year. It's been a dream for way too long now. So this year it's finally happening. And I'm going to beat Victor and Ian Hill to it. Apparently they haven't broken 16 either. And uh, it's a race now. Like literally and figuratively. I guess literally and literally. But race to sub 16 5k is on. <sighs> staring at me <laughs> as I talk to myself here. <sighs> okay, solid 35 minutes, five miles. Easy seven minute pace. Whew. It's warm out. Um, yeah, also, that's my house. Um, don't, don't come stalk me, uh, please. But overall, solid run. A couple people cheer me on as I talk to myself here, which is always fun. Um, yeah, and I'll catch up with you guys next time.